still can't believe I'm gonna try this, but let us head into the Valley of Dragons, which is a very nice mountain area, probably with new enemies, and I'll try to show off the, uh, the bard a little bit here, but these are not the enemies that I had in mind when I, uh, picked the bard. So, we have quite a few things here. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that none of the songs require MP. That is very, very nice. Now, Requiem, we were told, uh, would do damage to undead enemies. These guys are not undead, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go for Strength Song. That is what it says there. So let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully that increases our strength, like it says. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Instead... You'll notice we're doing pretty much the same damage here. Uh, instead, it actually casts regen on the party. In the Game Boy Advanced version, this is known as um, Mighty March, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's, you should start seeing you know, occasional uh, green numbers showing up on everybody. Uh, we could also do Love Song or Tempt Song. Uh, the love Song, also known as uh, Romeo's Ballad, will cast Stop, I believe, and Tempt Song will um, confuse them. But if I remember correctly, it looks like that missed there. Did not confuse them. Uh, of course, Stop is an ability that not everybody uh, is susceptible to. Very few enemies are susceptible to Stop. I was just... That was just wishful thinking on my part that it would kill the drippy. Wonderwall to go! That is not the best dance. We got a singer, we got a dancer. Uh, if you can act, that would be a triple threat, Reyna, but I don't think you can. You get 588 guild, 270 experience, and one ability point. Now, like I said, Requiem is really the reason that um, I'm bringing the bard along here. Uh, but we're, we're not finding the enemies that are weak to it. But if we head here, we can get 5,000 gil. Very, very nice. Doesn't look like there's anywhere else we can go, so let's just head into the mountain. I didn't think there it was all going to be outside, did ya? Do we have new enemies now that we're inside? We do! We have Skeletors! These are the ones I was thinking of. Go Requiem. Very, very nice ability because it doesn't use any MP. That's probably the best thing about it. But did you see that damage? Did you also notice they didn't die? This will prevent me from needing to do any level grinding that I normally do here, to be honest with you. I usually have to level grind here because these guys are so powerful. Uh, but... What the hell? You threw a bone at him! How dare you, sir? And the second Requiem should finish the job. Down goes the Skeletor. 1600 damage, that is ridiculous. Uh, yes, you get 600 gil, 445 experience, and two ability points for that. I need to heal Bart, so I will be right back. Continuing on, let's get out of this cave since there's not really anything in here. Do we have more new enemies that I will dance to death? We kind of do, and we got attacked from behind. We have a Poison Eagle, uh, which has poisoned Ferris. Lovely. Uh, let's aim. Let's try to kill the Drippy first, and then we can go for Requiem. I'm not going to bother changing everybody around. We're just going to have to deal with what we got right now. That Requiem should damage the Dragon Zombie, as you might expect. It is... Another undead enemy, considering its name is Zombie. Can I burn away pray everybody? No, I can't. So... No, let's go for uh, Drippy up here in front. Meanwhile, Galif, you need to heal. Go burn Ray. 441 is enough for the victory there, but we need to uh, cast Antidote on Ferris before Ferris starts getting into some serious damage difficulties. We need to take out the Poison Eagle next. Try to hit that with a... Uh... Damn! Insta-kill! Very nice! Hit it with an arrow. Down it goes. Requiem! Is that going to be enough to finish the dragon zombie? It is not! This is quite an enemy we got here! And I didn't realize it was going to be that weak. Are you kidding me? Poison across the board and damage. This is why. 
This is why I usually have difficulty here. Hopefully the Requiem takes care of it. Go Requiem! Take care of the Dragon Zombie. Down it finally goes. You get 1,097 gil, not 900. Unfortunately, 672 experience and three ability points. Three ability points being the best thing I know that. I don't believe Ferris got injured or got poisoned there, but I do need to heal everybody after I get the Dragon Fang, which I will gladly take. Let me heal everybody again. Like I said, this place I usually have to grind to get through. Today, I'm feeling risky by going for the Bard strategy instead, and it's working out pretty well, but... The enemies are still very difficult. So we can go over here and grab ourselves a cottage, though. Any more new enemies that you want to attack us with? Nope. Let's continue on. If you don't get the poison on me, then it's not too tough of a fight, even if you get a back attack. I'm still waiting on a couple new enemies here. Do we have... We don't have them here, though. As a result of that battle, uh, Galif did level up to level seven or no sorry sorry level six uh white mage so he is now back on red mage so that we can get some levels there and we do have a question mark question mark question mark enemy here now this one i do not believe is weak to requiem so we're gonna go ahead and cast uh regen on everybody because we need it to be honest with you and hopefully we can get some good magic off there. I did move white forward so that he can't... I'm sorry. Yeah. Blah. So that Galif could uh, use all of that should he need to. However, we are good. He's on the house. Damn it. He is on the healing staff still. I thought I had moved him over to the Halcyon Blade. But now that I think about it, that, was, that would have been a stupid idea anyway. And then he runs away from me. And I don't get anything. And he got a free shot in on my mage. Damn you. That is not allowed. I would have him on uh, Time Mage, that was my first thought, but uh, Time Mage cannot equip the Healing Staff, unfortunately. So, we are just going to leave him as the Red Mage for now. Are we going to see another new enemy here? No. Let's continue on then, into the other cave, on the other side of somehow the same mountain. It looks like it was different mountains to me, but I am no geologist. No expert on mountains. Any more new enemies? Can we finally take on the question mark, question mark, question mark guy? We can! I want to show this again because he ran away last time. And I don't like people running away from me. Uh, let's see. Can I get a sword stance off here? That'd be great. Jitterbug! That will do, actually. We're, we're pretty bad on that one. Uh, this guy is, I believe, a golem could be mistaken about that though and he actually does get another shot off and then runs off and he did quite a bit of damage to my bard i was about to say to my dancer but uh no and it's on bard we do have dancer by the way i just don't want to use it uh we'll just move on unfortunately we can't seem to kill the question mark question mark question mark guy just so freaking annoying and there he is again I am sort of waiting for a special battle out here, but it's not happening, unfortunately. So I'm just going to run around a little bit, and hopefully this one is it. It involves that enemy. No, it's just him again. This, however, is the fight that I was looking for. Just ran around a bit until it showed up. We're up against... It's named now. We're up against the Golem, a Skelosaur, and a Dragon Zombie. This is a fight that you want to get into. This is also a scripted fight, more or less, and a primary reason why you would want to bring the Bard with ya. Unlike in Final Fantasy IV, the Bard serves a lot of purposes in this game. Well, I guess it did in Final Fantasy IV, I just don't want to acknowledge it. And down goes the Dragon Zombie. The second Requiem should be more than enough for the Skelosaur as well. So we have one! I don't know if you caught that, it went by kind of fast. Uh, the Golem asked us to help him from the undead dragon dinosaur enemies. So now we do not want to defeat this golem, so we're just going to defend until 
It's his turn again. Thanks! Hey, take me with you! And then he died. Yes, for that battle you get three ability points, which is nice. And you get an item, of course, because how else can he join our party other than the form of a summon? This one, however, we do need to use, uh, very similar to what we need to do with Rama. Let's see if he makes a good sound when we use him. It's the block sound. What the hell? Uh, but we have obtained the Golem Summon. Now, if I remember right, Golem is, uh, is only a summon in this game, not in other games. At least I do not remember it. I have not played all the tactics ones, though. So, I, I'm not sure. But if we head over here, we can head down a secret hole. And we can get 7,000 gil out of there. We can head over here and flip the switch which does grant us entry there and should open up the door doesn't seem to have opened up the door though we can head out through here and we're back up where we came but it has let us go forward through here well the door was backwards the way that I wanted to go. Do we have more new enemies? We do! We have Grimmelkins, more House Cat. Why... Why did I attack with Reyna? Reyna is primarily a... well, singer now. That is her main purpose, and I should remember that. Unfortunately, these these house cats. Oh, Temptango! And then I attack it and kill it, so that was useless. Thank you, Reyna. Uh, Reyna doesn't do that much uh, physical damage as a bard, as you might expect. Uh, but, let's see, can I do... Let's go for Temp Song. Let's see if I can confuse... Well, they said that I could confuse these enemies. So let's confuse all of them and take them out one by one as we go through. However, we only really have to fight one at a time until they start hitting each other, like, immediately, apparently. So, so much for that. We at least get a free attack off, which is nice. Let's see if I can hit that one in the back. For the victory, down it goes. Now, nobody can attack us. This is... This is quite a good little setup here. Now you can... Ow! Oh, that's bullshit! How'd you get your turn so fast? That is not nice. And, yeah, we might as well just attack. Go for the Jitterbug! Very nice, and heal yourself while you're at it! Now let's heal Bart. We should get pretty much everybody up to max HP here. And Ferris for the victory. Down goes the Grimmelkin! All of them. You get 1,000 gills, 375 experience, and 2 ability points. Still not enough for a level, a job level up from anybody, or a regular level up, now that I think about it. We need to keep going, though. Let's head through here. I assume these go to the same spot. They do not, actually. But this does lead to treasure chests, which I wanted to grab anyway. We have seen this fight before. And in these treasure chests, you can get a coronet and a wind sword. Neither one of which I need to use immediately, but they are nice to have, since you need so much equipment for so many jobs that you can use at any time. Now we can head over here and grab a phoenix down out of that treasure chest, and I choose right. And I have chosen the way to the save point, which we will use. And we will continue this dungeon next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I've been joined, as always, by my dragon hunting and undead killing squad of Bart's Brain of Gallif and Ferris. When we come back, we will get the dragon grass. And we will finally be able to heal the dragon and hopefully get into X Death's castle. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.